Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm bringing you another Get Ready With Me video, and this is part two in my YouTuber tribute series. Today I am featuring the YouTuber who goes by the name Emily Noel 83 and many of you have probably watched her videos. She's been on YouTube, I believe, for 11 years, and I have been watching her for a number of those years. And not only is she great at applying makeup, but my favorite thing to watch of her is her reviews of products. I think above all other YouTubers that I have watched throughout the years, she is one of the main ones that I know I'm going to get a forthright, honest review and somebody who rarely does first impressions because she, like myself, feels like you really need to use a product more than once to really get a good feel of how that product performs. So therefore, when she reviews something, I know she has put it through the paces and tried it. Now, of all of her years here on YouTube, she has never done a collaboration or a sponsorship video with any particular brand until about a month ago when she released a collaboration of two palettes she had done with Makeup Revolution. So when I saw that, I knew these palettes were gonna be good. Not only would she be particular about the formulation and colors and all of that, but I knew that if she was putting her name on something, it had to be something that she herself really believed in and loved. So I was so excited to get my hands on these. I've been playing with these myself for several weeks now. So today in my Get Ready With Me video, I'm gonna be featuring both of these palettes. And then I'm also going to be using mostly drugstore products and or products that Emily Noel has given her stamp of approval on. So if you wanna see how I pulled together this very fall inspired look, then just keep on watching. The first step is using Emily Noel's, one of her favorite eyeshadow primers. This is the Milani eyeshadow primer. And I'm just going to put this all over the lids. The drugstore foundation that I'm using today is relatively new on the market and to me. I've used it several times though. Um, it is the L'Oreal Infallible Longwear Shaping Stick. And this really is a nice, affordable foundation stick. So that seems to be the craze right now in the beauty community is all kinds of foundation sticks. And this was one that Emily Noel, I think it was in her top 10 or top five, top five foundation sticks. And now to blend that out, I'm gonna use this Morphe M439. And I like this dense brush for blending this out. I think it works well on these um, thicker cream foundations. I don't necessarily love this brush for super liquidy foundations, but I've been enjoying it for this foundation in particular. And then I'm just gonna add a little bit more coverage in a couple spots. I do feel like this is a good buildable coverage, but it doesn't feel heavy or thick on the skin. Now, I always like to let my foundation just sit, sit on the skin and sink in a little bit before I powder it. So I'm gonna go right to the eyes now, and we are going to be using the Wants palette. This is just a beautiful array of amazing colors. So she really did an awesome job. And this is the palette that she curated every single color, named each one, really was able to test each formula. So these are really good. You could technically, with this formula, you can do your concealer and everything because you're not gonna get fallout with these shadows. They are really amazing. But just because I always like to do my concealer after my eyes. I'm gonna go in with the eyes. So we're gonna start with Brow Bone Highlight and I'm gonna use this color, it's called The Cream. And I had my cream in my coffee this morning. That's what I always think about. Put this right under the brow bone here. And 
I'm using my Morphe M208 brush. This just really packs on a nice heavy layer of shadow. Okay, first shade we're gonna do in the upper crease area, kind of our blending shade, is this one right here called Midwest. And I'm using my Morphe M504. And I'm going to put this starting at about the top of the crease and blending up into that brow bone highlight shade we just used. Going in with my Morphe M433, we're gonna go in with this shade right here, and it's kind of between a coral and a pumpkin color, so it has a little more pink to it than pumpkin does, but I think mixed with that kind of um, warm brown shade that we put in the crease, I think it's gonna work well. So we're gonna use that shade right here on right in the crease and then we'll blend it up just a little bit. So just building that about two times, two layers in the crease. And while this is not going to be our overall main shade, I'm going to have this kind of orange halo. So you wanna make sure that you take that color up high enough, especially if you have hooded eyes like I do, Make sure that when you look straight forward, you still have some of that color peeking through. And if you don't, just bring it up a little higher. And then go back with our M504 and just softly blend the edge. These shadows blend beautifully. Now for the outer corner, we're gonna bring in some more fall color and we are gonna go in with this shade right here, Cheer. It's looking a little brown on the camera, but it's a cranberry shade with just a touch more brown. It's not, um, it has less pinky tones than the color Love Tons. I'm using this Real Techniques Insta Pop brush and Emily Noel had first talked about these and the bristles are angled on that side and it just really picks up the shadow and lays it down without a lot of fallout. But then you can use the brush to then kind of turn around and kind of pull that color up a little bit into the crease. So it's kind of a, a cool, fun brush. And I'm just working this about halfway over and I am kind of sandwiching it into the crease. And now going back with my M433, no extra product, I'm just going to blend the edge. I'm going to try to let some of that red kind of peek through here up in the outer corner. And go back with our brush, pull up a little more. And I'm gonna put this brush on its side here. And then one more dip back into that orange shade Laugh Cry. Just gonna go right on the edge. And I'm gonna round this out down here. And then in the outer corner, I'm just gonna darken it just slightly with the E17, this is the Morphe E17. And I'm gonna do a little mix of, this is Apartment and Fifi. Fifi is a deep plum color, and then Apartment is a really nice dark chocolate brown. I'm just really putting this right in the corner and down towards the lash line. And then I'm gonna go into apartment. And just darkening this and going then down along the lash line just a little bit. And then go back with our Instapot brush and a little more cheer of that red color. So we wanna make sure we keep that red here and then do any extra blending you need to with the Morphe M433 right along the edge. Okay. 
All right, I think I'm gonna go ahead and just add a little shimmer on the inner corner. I was contemplating leaving it matte, but we'll just play with a few more shades. Why not, right? So I'm gonna go in with Good Vibes right here. And this one has just a little more warmth to it. You can see it's kind of like a rusty color, a rusty red. So we're gonna start first with a little bit of that and I'm going to just press my brush into the shadow, tap it off a little bit, and I'm using my Sigma E60. And I'm just gonna go right here in the center and press and drag the brush just a little bit across the lid. And that is Emily Noel's trick to applying these shimmers and you're not getting a ton of fallout and everything by doing it that way. So I appreciate that. Then I'm gonna go in with this very unique shade. It's this one right here. It's called Eve Rose. It's named after one of her daughters. And I'm going to just flip that brush over. And this is like a duochrome. It looks like a really cool lavender shade, but it takes on this gold shift, gold pink shift. And I love it layered over the top of shades like that good vibe shade that we put in the middle. So I'm going to use it here in the inner corner from the corner and then I'm going to pull it over that shade we just laid down in the center of the lid. And then I'm going to go in with my finger just a little more of that shade and really pack that on the inner corner here inner part of the lid, I should say. Not quite to the inner corner. We're gonna use another shade there. And then going back with my E60 and a little more Good Vibes. Just going to brush that over and kind of combine those two colors. And it just makes a really nice kind of pale, peachy, rusty color with little bits of gold peeking through. Let's jump to the lower lash line. I'm gonna use this Maybelline Rusty Terracotta Shade. These are their Lasting Drama Matte Eyeliners. These are really good. And this is a very close dupe to the Urban Decay Torch Eyeliner. So if you've had your eye on that but didn't wanna fork over $20, this is a great alternative. And I'm gonna put this about halfway along, and then as always, just take my finger and soften the edge of that. Now using my Morphe M432, I'm gonna go in with that dark brown apartment shade right here along just this outer part of the lower lash line, connecting it with the upper lash line corner there. And then go in with Cheer which is this shade here on the bottom, this kind of brownie cranberry color, brownish cranberry color, I should say. And then I'm gonna take my e.l.f. smudge brush and a little bit of Laugh Cry and Midwest. And I'm just going to use this right here to soften this innermost part of the lower lash line. One thing that Emily Noel loves to do is she loves to use this Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Highlighter on her inner rim of her eye. This just sometimes will help make you look a little more awake and if you're using reds and oranges on your eyelids, sometimes you can look a little more tired throughout the day so this is something to make you look a little less tired. And this pencil stays pretty well for me for several hours because I wear contacts, my eyes are a little more watery, but it is a really good, decent, has decent staying power for me. To finish out the upper lash line, I'm just gonna line it with a little bit of liquid eyeliner. I don't have one that she regularly uses or a drugstore one that I really love right now. So I'm going to just use my IT Cosmetic Superhero Eyeliner and I just love the precise tip and the soft tip that this has. So it really allows you to create a really fine line with this.
After cleaning up the end of the eye with a little bit of almond oil, I'm now gonna go in with concealer. And the first step is color correcting for me, and you've seen me use this product many times on here, and it's the Benefit Boing Brightening Concealer. And Emily Noel has been using this since it was Benefit Erase Paste. So if anybody, if any of you remember that product, when they redid all of their concealers, the Erase Paste became this. So this was definitely a product that Emily Noel introduced me to. For concealer, I'm gonna use another one that she has been loving, and it's the Tarte Creaseless Concealer. And I'm gonna go in with just a little bit of two shades because I'm kind of in between each one. So I'm going to use the medium golden shade and then a little bit of medium neutral and kind of make my perfect concealer shade right now. And it really does not take much of this concealer at all. If you use too much, it can start looking a little bit cakey and it can crease, so <laughs> don't use too much with this one. And I'm gonna go in with my Morphe G2 brush. I love this brush for blending in concealer. It's super soft and dense and I just find it just works well to keep the coverage but remove any extra product. And now before powdering, I just like to go back with my foundation brush and just press in kind of areas where I have larger pores or any lines. Just do this before powdering because our powder is going to set our foundation in place as it's sitting right now on our skin. So I'm gonna make sure we don't have any accentuation of lines or anything right now. To set the under eye, I'm gonna use my standard e.l.f. HD loose powder. The powder in her Needs palette, if you're of a younger skin tone and a skin type than I am, that will work well to set your concealer. But for me, it was just a smidge little bit of drying and emphasized my lines. So I'm gonna use a little bit of this e.l.f. powder and just set that concealer. This is something I have to do with that concealer. To set the rest of my face, I'm gonna do something which I've never tried before, but I'm gonna use the setting powder she has in here to set the rest of my face. It's called Kindness. I just love these names in here. And I'm gonna use this uh, Rouge, this is a Sephora Rouge brush uh, when you, get to Rouge this year. This is the new brush. So I'm going to try this brush today. Haven't used it yet, but it's super soft. Okay, just a little word to the wise I just experienced <laughs> is this dark shadow right here. If you're not careful and you're using a fluffy brush, you can get your brush in that not really what you want to set your foundation so just be careful Sm squish your brush like this and then apply the powder to your face and then over the top of that I'm just gonna do a little bit of kind of a nice add a little soft illuminating glow with the Milani prep set and glow and this doesn't have any shimmer or anything I'm gonna use this big old brush from Sedona at least it's the 376 but I just love the finish this adds to your skin. As we're going into fall and winter, sometimes our skin can get a little extra dull. So this just helps prevent that from, at least prevent your skin from looking dull. For bronzer and blush, I'm gonna be using the ones from her needs palette and this is a really nice kind of mid-tone matte bronze shade and she's named it courage and it is just it's a really nice kind of neutral it's not too gray 
but not too warm either. And Emily Noel isn't a huge, she's not big on really chiseling the face with contour. So we're gonna just keep this nice and soft. And this is the Sedona Lace FB05. I'm just gonna put a little extra right here and then I'm going to switch to the 919. This is my favorite paddle brush and it really fits the size of this pan well. And I'm just gonna use this softly here around the forehead and the edge of the hairline, tops of the cheeks, and along the jawline. And then like always, I'm gonna do a little nose contour. She usually does not, but I'm just gonna do a little, just cause that's where what I'm comfortable with. For blush, I'm going in with this color. It's called Joy. And it is just a beautiful, warm, peachy tone, which normally she is more of a kind of brighter pink or a like a rosy pink color uh, blush person, but I'm glad that she chose this color. I think it's a really nice tone that goes well with basically any eye look. You can really make this look pretty neutral or build it up as I am right now. Now the highlighter shade in here is good. It's just very, very subtle. And so I'm gonna do a trick that she showed in one of her recent videos where she actually uses one of the eyeshadows from here. So we also need some inner corner highlights, so why not do both with the same shadow? So I'm gonna use this shade right here, which is Oh Heavens, and something that I like to say quite often myself. So. I'm um, going to go in with this Sigma E30 first on the inner corner. And just, this is a really nice kind of light gold pearly shade. So no glitter, no big particles. It's not super metallic, but it just really has a nice sheen and shine when the light catches it. And now switching to this Real Techniques setting brush, I'm gonna use some of that shade on the tops of my cheeks. Hmm, that's a really pretty color. It almost has a little bit of a pink shift to it kind of interesting. And I'm really going to now buff in that highlighter, something that Emily Noel really likes to do. I think it's a good idea. So it's not just like this stripe of highlighter sitting on top of your skin really buff it in. And before we finish off our eyes, we can't forget our brows. Ah, so I'm going to go in with my NYX Precision Brow Pencil in the color Taupe. And just fill these in real quick here. To set the brows, I'm going to use something that Emily Noel introduced me to as well, and this is the NYX Control Freak Brow Gel. And it's just, it's a really good, I would say medium hold brow gel. And one of the things I love is that when you pull the wand out of the tube, it is not all gloppy and goopy like most brow gels are. All right, let's finish up the eyes with some mascara. I'm gonna use my favorite eyelash curler, which Emily Noel introduced me to as well. This is the Tweezerman eyelash curler. And then I'm also gonna use a drugstore combination. If you saw my mascara video, it's the one in the same. It's the L'Oreal Voluminous and Lash Paradise. And then on my lower lash line, Emily Noel loves to use the CoverGirl Clump Crusher 
water resistant formula down there because she has problems with smudging. I don't have that particular mascara on hand, but another one that I have found that I love really, that really works just as well from the drugstore is the L'Oreal. This is the double extend. So it has a primer on one end and then it has a tubing mascara so it doesn't smudge or run or anything. So very unique formula. If you've never tried it, it might be fun to try. To finish off our look, we need some lips. And I was so happy to see uh, Emily Noel's recent video where she's doing kind of fall lip colors. And she brought back a lip liner that I saw her use years ago and inspired me to buy. Mine is itty bitty tiny now. This is the Milani Statement Lip Liner in the color Spice. And I'm gonna go ahead and fill in the lips with that color. And then just to tone it down and add a little more shine to the lips, I'm gonna use this Maybelline. It's in the color Baddest Beige. And I think these are like shine lip creams or shine something. <laughs> but they come in these pink mirrored finish tubes. I just think they're beautiful. And Baddest Beige is just a really nice neutral beigey color. And we're going to use this over the top. And you can just see it just really provides a nice shine and moist adds moisture to the lips. And this could really go many different directions depending on what color of lip liner you use. All right guys, and here is our finished look. And I'm just, as you can tell, in this fall mode, but I just love how the colors on the eyes came together. And I've worn these shades several times before as well as other colors from this palette. And they really stay true color all day. They stay in place, they don't get muddied throughout the day. You know how you can sometimes have an eye look that looks like this in the morning and then by the evening it just looks like this brown muddy mess in the outer corner. These shadows don't do that. They stay really well. I think these palettes, both of them, would be great gifts for a daughter, sister, mother, for yourself. Um, Christmas is coming. It's not too soon to start thinking about that, but I think this in particular, the Wants palette, is just such a perfect palette for any stage of a makeup artist that you might be, whether you are a beginner at applying makeup or you consider yourself a pro. I think these shadows perform beautifully. The colors are just really inspiring. And even though I did a more dramatic look today, you can definitely get some very nice neutral everyday looks from this palette as well. But again, thank you, Emily. Thank you for your many years of hard work of all of your just hundreds and hundreds of reviews of products. And thank you for introducing me to many of my favorite beauty products. Thank you guys as always so much for watching and supporting my channel. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time. Bye.